But no matter who you are up against or whatever that problem is, remember that there is someone who is ever willing to fight for you. And the Word of God says, The battle is not yours, but the Lord's. Definitely, He is going to keep His words and fight for you. You and I are involved in a spiritual warfare on this earth, and the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We cannot fight the spiritual battles with physical weapons. We need spiritual weapons to fight the spiritual. The Bible speaking in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, For we are not wrestling with flesh and blood, but against the despotisms, against the powers, against the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spirit forces of wickedness in the heavenly sphere. It means, therefore, that this world is being controlled by spiritual forces, so your enemies are not ordinary, and only the Almighty Father can fight these battles for you. You only need to fight on your own needs, and the Lord takes charge of the main battle. We all have different types of battles we face in life. Yours could be opposition from your friends and family, attacks for enemies, life-threatening health issues you may be struggling with, and so many other battles that the enemy throws at us to make us lose our faith and trust in God. But the Word of God says in Exodus chapter 14, verse 14, The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace and remain at rest, this is saying whatever battle that you might be facing, God is interested. Hold your peace. Do not try to fight it with your physical strength, because that strength will fail you. It is only going to keep frustrating you, and you would eventually give up. The truth is that by strength shall no man prevail. Your strength cannot help you in the battle you are facing. So instead of feeling proud, Acknowledge to God that you do not have the power. When you humble yourself and appear before God just the way you are, He steps into that battle on your behalf. Most of us, after acknowledging to God that we do not have the power to stand on the battlefield that has risen up against us, we still try to help God. And the truth is we cannot help God. Only God can help us. If you want the Almighty to fight your battles, Completely let go and just trust God to take charge of that battle. Stop trying to do it on your own. Trusting God is completely trusting in His ability to fight that battle. Put your eyes on Him alone and He will fight your battles. Only when you trust Him and have faith in His ability, He will show you Himself as a mighty warrior. There are also times in the midst of battles and opposition. We lose confidence in the Word of God. Having confidence is different from pride. There are times when the devil would like to check if you have confidence in what you are saying. He might send temptations to add to the ones you are already facing. But be careful because if you fail, the enemy will begin to gain victory over that battle. The Word of God can never be left unfulfilled. During battles like these is when we are supposed to arm ourselves with the Word of God. But many believers lack the Word of God, and this makes them lose their confidence in God. It is time to fall back on the Word of God and get your confidence back. The Word of God says in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17, But no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall show to be in the wrong. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. This is the righteousness or the vindication which they obtain from me. When God has already said no weapon formed against you shall prosper, then who is that person that wants to try and change the words of God? God is ever present in our time of need, have absolute confidence in Him, and He will always fight our battles. The word of God to His children is that we who are believers are always kept in safety, and because we trust in the name of the Lord and not in horses or chariots, God will always fight for us. 
the Bible speaking in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 25 to 26 says, For thus says the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty will be taken away, and the prey of the terrible will be delivered. For I will contend with him who contends with you, and I will give safety to your children and ease them, and I will make those who oppress you consume themselves, thus eating their own flesh, and they will be drunk with their own blood as with sweet wine, and all flesh will know that I, the Lord, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. These are words of God assuring us of how He is going to fight our battles. If your battles are against anybody oppressing you, drop it at the throne of God and be rest assured that He is going to fight it for you. And no weapon that has been sent towards you will reach you, for the Lord your God, who is your shield, is going to protect and block you from every arrows of the wicked. God is in charge, and you shall come out of this battle victorious. Calm down and trust this God. Your own battle might be a personal battle within yourself, and you are trusting and believing God to help you win. Do not worry. Help is already here for you. You only need to acknowledge that you have a problem, and the Lord will take it from there. Not because He does not see or knows whatever you are fighting, but because He wants you to use the free choice that He has given unto every man. He wants you to make a choice today that you choose Him to fight this battle, that He is Lord over your life and see how He turns around your situations. Nothing can ever separate you from the love of God whenever you feel overwhelmed by the challenges you face. Whenever you feel like giving up, remember that there is someone who will always stand and fight for you if only you give Him the chance. Beloved, it is not late. You can still do it now.